thanks for joining me today. I'm really excited about this because what we're going to do is we're going to use So What Pro, which is our embroidery software editing software, sorry, our embroidery editing software to create an SVG that we can use to cut fabric on our brother's Scan and Cut or a Silhouette or Cricut or any other cutting machine that uses SVG. So this is especially, especially exciting to me um, because that's why I bought my Scan and Cut and I still haven't used it for that. Um, and I have the, the S, not S, it's the CM350. And on the CM350, it doesn't come with the ability to read your applique files, but this gives us a shortcut. So I'm so excited. All right, so let's just jump right in. We're gonna go open. We're gonna open up something in um, Planet Applique is a file that I have on my hard drive of all the, the files that I bought from Planet Applique, and I just love them. So something that's really popular right now is a buck, and Planet Applique has a nice one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the buck silhouette, and I am just stuck on PES because that's what I am, but it has all the different, whenever you buy from them, they give you all the different formats and sizes. Let's see goes all the way up to eight by 10 even. Woo, okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna click open. It's gonna open this all up, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna focus on the die line. That's gonna give us our cutout, what, what we want. What we wanna cut out, what we wanna be able to cut the fabric out, okay? So we have that, we have to highlight that. And whenever you highlight that, go up here to save applique cutouts. Okay, and it's gonna give you just the deer. And it's gonna be in the same size dimensions that it was designed with. So with that in mind, you might wanna bump up what they call the inflation factor so that it goes a little bit over the lines, okay? I haven't actually done any of this yet. I'm just showing you that I figured out how to do it. <laughs> so let me know if you have done this. You can also save this as just this part as an S or a JPG as well. So let's just do an SVG and we'll click save cutouts. Now it's gonna save it to the source directory for the buck silhouette. See, applique cutout file, buck silhouette, the little underscore 01 SVG has been written to the project folder. Okay, so we're gonna click okay, and that closes that out. We're gonna go over here to Internet Explorer and we're gonna to go to scan and cut canvas. And we're gonna click this button right here that says SVG. We're gonna choose file and we're going to find the buck silhouette. And in there, it's gonna be four by four underscore. It's gonna look like everything else. I have such a hard time finding these, but it'll say underscore 01, okay? And over here, it'll tell you that it's an SVG file. Let's click open and then click okay. And there you go. There's your little buck. So you can move them anywhere. You probably don't want to cut the fabric right on the edge. So you might want to move them over a little bit. Um, and also, once you're in here, you can click edit and duplicate and you can make a bunch of them. So if you have a big applique order to do all of the same thing or um, you want to make matching things, you don't have to hand cut out your applique anymore. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I know I'm like, crazy excited about it. All right. So that's all there is to it. I hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any more questions or have any questions, please ask in the group um, on Facebook and that'll be linked in the videos. The Scan and Cut group is growing every day, like by leaps and bounds. So there's lots of smart brains in there. Just ask your questions. There's a lot of stuff I don't know yet. So asking in the group is really helpful because it doesn't just teach you. It also teaches me because I'm reading all of those as well. Alrighty. Thanks again so much for everything. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.